Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fantastic mushroom and chicken crepe. We're gonna start by making a savory crepe and then fill it with a wonderful mushroom and leek combination topped with some roasted chicken and of course a drizzle of decadent bechamel sauce. We're then going to roll it up, top the whole thing with Gruyere cheese, pop it in the oven, and let me tell you, the results are fantastic. <laughs> it is so delicious and would be perfect for a fancy lunch or a brunch. Let me show you how to put it together. So the first thing you wanna do is roast your chicken. So I like to take a rimmed sheet pan, line it with some foil, and then put a roasting rack inside. That way I find that the chicken roasts a little bit quicker, and then it's a lot easier to clean after the fact because of the foil. You're gonna roast your chicken at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, just until it's cooked through. And then you can allow it to cool while you prep the rest of the ingredients. Now, the funny thing about this recipe is it really is franglais cooking because in France, you either get a sweet crepe that's made with white flour or they have a savory crepe, but that's really called a galette and that's made with buckwheat flour or blé noir as they would call it. So when I showed my husband this recipe, he just sort of laughed and said, I've never seen anything like this in France, but it is delicious. So he gobbled up every bite. <laughs> So for our savory crepe, we are going to add one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two and a half cups of milk. So I like to get the flour and the milk whisked up first because that will prevent having a lot of clumps in your crepe batter. So give that a good whisk. Then you're gonna take two eggs and beat them well, and then add the beaten eggs to the batter. And adding beaten eggs instead of whole eggs will just get you a smoother crepe batter. And then we're also gonna add four tablespoons of melted butter and one tablespoon of freshly minced dill, which I think adds a nice flavor and it also looks pretty as well. Then you're gonna heat a large nonstick skillet. And I like to use a 12 inch skillet because I find that it creates the perfect size crepe. And you also wanna make sure that you grease your skillet. So I like to use either grapeseed oil or canola oil and then take a full ladle's worth of batter and then turn it around so that all of the batter is covering the base of the pan completely. And then just let it sit there and cook. And once you start to see the edges turn golden brown, you can go in with a very thin spatula. And then I just like to use my hands, really easy to just take your hands and give it a flip. And then let it cook after that. And then at this stage, you can just continue the same process and make all of your crepes. Now you could do this part the day ahead, but just make sure that when you're storing your crepes, you have them all going the same direction because if you put them back to back, they will stick. So I like to just put them on a paper towel with some foil and then you can wrap them up and pop in your fridge. So now for the filling, you can use the same skillet for your filling and we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter in a pan. And then to that, we're gonna add four leeks that have been sliced into half moons. And you wanna saute the leeks in the butter just until they're kind of wilted and fragrant and you can season with a little salt and pepper. And then to that, we're also gonna add two and a half cups of sliced mushrooms. Now for this recipe, I would say resist the temptation of buying the mushrooms that are already sliced in the store because I find that they're too thick. I really like to slice the mushrooms myself so that they get really thin and then that way they'll fit in the crepes a bit better. And then you're gonna cook the mushrooms down just until they start to release their juices. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then you also wanna add a tablespoon of freshly minced parsley. And you can give that a stir. There, so your filling is done and you can transfer that to a bowl just so it can cool. Now at this point, your chicken is probably done and you can remove the skin and just shred it with some forks until you have nice bite-sized pieces. And you can put that in a bowl and set that aside. There, so now you have all of your components ready to go. We have our crepes, we have our mushroom filling, and we have our chicken. You can get all of these components done the day before. Just keep in your fridge until it comes time to assemble the crepes, which you can do the day you plan to serve them. So now for the bechamel sauce, which is also super simple to put together. In a large skillet, you're going to melt two tablespoons of butter, and once it becomes foamy, you're going to add two tablespoons of flour. Give that a whisk until a nice paste forms, and then you're slowly gonna add two and one thirds cup of milk, whisking all the while until everything is combined. And then you wanna set this mixture on simmer just until it starts to kind of bubble and foam and it'll thicken. And then I also like to add a garlic clove to bechamel sauce. I know that's not really a traditional thing to do, but I find it just gives the sauce a little bit more flavor and adds to a tastier crepe. And then you can season with salt and pepper to taste. 
All right, so now to assemble. I really like to serve these in individual gratin dishes because I find it's a little bit easier to serve that way because then your guests get their own individual portion. You could roll these up and put them in like a nine by 13 casserole pan too. I would just make sure that you serve them with a very large spatula because they are kind of saucy and fragile. <laughs> If you want to know where to get the gratin dishes, they're in my Amazon shop, and I'll leave you a link in the description. And then take one of your crepes and place it in the gratin dish, and then spoon in some of the mushroom and leek mixture, top with the chicken, and then drizzle with the bechamel sauce on top, about two tablespoons or so. Then you can roll up the crepe until you have a nice little, almost like a little cigar, and then I top with a little bit more bechamel sauce, just because it is so good. <laughs> and then finish with a little grated Gruyere cheese. And then I also like to dust the tops with a little bit of paprika. Then you can pop these in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, and you wanna bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then I like to pop under the broiler for one to two minutes, just to make sure that that cheese is really melty and kind of bubbly. And then when they come out of the oven, I like to finish with some freshly chopped parsley and then place them on some kind of wooden charger because these dishes are hot. To serve these crepes with a side salad tossed with a vinaigrette because I find that it really is a great complement to the richness of the crepes. And I'll leave you my vinaigrette recipe in the description. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and let me know what you think and I'll see you back here next time for another quick and easy recipe. Until then, bye.